What's up squad? My name's Austin and I'm gonna be breaking down this new Call of Duty trailer just like everybody else in this freaking world. But uh, why not me too? I need to make a video anyways. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Twenty twenty five. That's actually really um, surprising to me. I was I was figuring Triarch would go with their uh, bread and butter and stay with the history. You know what's in the past. I didn't figure they'd go into futuristic. It's really uh, odd to me, especially being a sequel of Black Ops, which was in the past, and uh, World at War was the same. So it's kind of surprising. I don't know if uh, I'd be as risky as them and go into a futuristic when we just came from a future futuristic which is uh Moffer 3 or somewhat and um it's a really risky move aside for the fact that i'm still alive now granted that they are gonna post the best animations and things for the trailer to get everybody pumped this is actually a pretty good graphics like you can see the hair his mustache you can see his unibrow uh, it's actually really good graphics he has um, and watch when he talks too he has uh, wrinkles and stuff I think this is Mason I'm not sure I really didn't keep up with the campaign much I don't know names or anything like that but I just wanted to point out pretty good graphics it looks like none of this surprises me Technology. We've all seen this either with FPS Russia or Woody's Gamer Tag. Uh, he went over it too. The quad rotor, and um, I think this could turn into one of those per or uh, kill streaks that's really damn annoying, kind of like RCs and uh, recon drones. I have a feeling that it's going to turn into that, and these things actually may be overpowered at first. So we'll see how it looks. It looks cool though. I mean, it's innovative, I guess, is how you got to point it out. Strong. Oh my god, first thing comes to mind is Halo. This is what this reminds me of. I don't know why. Or maybe Battlefield too, like tanks. This is like, and even Star Wars, this thing freaking walks, I think. Oh, I do not like the looks of this. I hope this is just a campaign thing, because a lot of this is a campaign. We all got to realize that a lot of it will not be in multiplayer, so we'll see. But this thing, I really hope, is not in the multiplayer. It looks cool and everything, but I just feel like it could really throw off things in the multiplayer aspect. Also, check out the detail in the back, like the trees and everything. It, really nice. I think the graphics are going to look good in this game. I'm excited. But we got weaker. Here is, uh, I think, that little quad rotor thing. And uh, it looks kind of weird. It kind of re resembles, well, not really, but the tint of the screen is kind of like a Predator missile when you look into it or whatever. Um... It doesn't look like it could obstruct your vision or anything. I, c I really hope that it, um, it's kind of hard to shoot. Because looking at it, I think you could get off really easy. And I think that may be what's going to balance it out. Hopefully it doesn't have no missiles that can shoot at you, just that machine gun. Kind of, I hope it's not like the uh, assault drone that was really annoying. And that's what I, I have a feeling that this is going to turn into. It's kind of like an assault drone. But, uh... It kind of looks cool from here. I think it'd be fun to drive, but it'll get old after a month or so. So I guess we'll find out how it works out in, in the end, but uh, we'll see more on this, I'm sure. We build computers. Robot. This looks so much like Star Wars. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've actually looked in depth at this trailer, and I haven't watched anybody else's trailers uh, or trailer breakdowns. So, I actually don't know what people are saying about this. So these are my own ideas, but uh, like I've said before, I really hope these are not in multiplayer. I have a feeling they're not. You can see the quad rotors in the back. Again, the graphics look pretty good, but the coloring is a little bit dull, except for that blue. But uh, the left, the crates on the left look like Treyarch. Oh, unmanned armies. And no one ever asked. What happens? And the enemy steals the keys. And the things they built to keep. I have to point out that this is going to be just in the campaign. There's no way this is going to be a multiplayer. This isn't Battlefield. Um, there's no way they can really implement this. I mean, it would take a lot of work and it'd be just throw off the balance. So, this is definitely going to be a campaign thing, in case you didn't know. A safer turn against us. 
This to me looks like maybe a USP. Um, I don't. I, I'm not very good at identifying guns, and I'll, I'm sure you'll find that out in the next couple of uh, pauses because I'm probably gonna misinterpret what uh, gun that actually is. But it reminds me of the USP, so hopefully I'm right on that. But of course, there's gonna be pistols in the game, so we can probably look forward to something like the USP. That's when they figured it out. Like I said before, I'm not good at identifying guns, and so I'm not real sure what that is. But I want to point out, he has one in his hand. Look on his back, that looks like another primary weapon. Maybe that's gonna be implemented onto uh, Black Ops 2 multiplayer. It's just a thought. We'll always need men like us, for those who are willing to do what others cannot. Not sure what exactly that is, but I know it's an LMG. You can just tell by the handlebar up on it, I think, at least. Hopefully I'm right on that, but uh, David Von Hart did talk about helping out LMGs, making them better in multiplayer, hopefully, so I have a feeling that's going to be a big part of the game, because it shows it twice in this world premiere. Dear God, don't let this be second chance. Hopefully this is a campaign thing. If you bring in second chance to multiplayer, I'll rip your legs off, David Von Haar. This is actually really nice for a screenshot. Uh, look at that gun. Looks pretty cool. Looks modern. More, like, forward. I don't know. It just looks like a future thing. I really like the coloration of the maps. Really just goes good. It looks nice. The graphics are great. Sorry bros, but there will not be horses in the multiplayer. I'm stating it right now. The Reaper will be back. That's what you're looking at right here. And I figured it would be back, and I've heard that it would be back. So look at it right here. It's back, it looks like. Another pretty shot near uh, shipment crates, but I'm kind of concerned. Did y'all notice throughout this uh, premiere that there was a lot of stuff in the air? I sure did, and that kind of concerns me. I hope this doesn't turn into a Mono for two kind of deal. <laughs> Looks like a shotgun to me. This product not yet rated.